uh, this is black and white. So we're going to take a look at what's making he uh, not what's making headlines, <laughs> digital <laughs> activism. <laughs> I've been doing that for so long, I think it's just in my blood. But then, of course, today we're talking about digital activism. The segment is black and white. And, of course, I'm being joined by none other than uh, Philip Ogola, who is a digital humanitarian. Okay, let's just start that. Even his shirt says digital, hashtag digital humanitarian. So let's just start there. What on earth is a digital humanitarian? Um, a digital humanitarian is uh, someone who uses the digital space for social good. Okay. Someone who uses the digital space to champion issues which are um, society driven, mm -hmm. who, who is a change maker using the, the digital space. Right. Yeah. So um, how do you, does one stumble into this, um, I would call it passion? Um, um, it's, it's actually a calling. Mm -hmm. uh, being a digital humanitarian is a calling because it's, it's, it comes with a lot of uh, sacrifice, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, 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 dedication to, to, to what you're doing because right. there's a lot of emotional baggage doing all this. And um, drain. You can imagine handling death, handling uh, bereaved family, handling, mm -hmm. uh, handling GBV issues. It's, right. it's, it's not easy being a digital humanitarian. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, well, when you talk about that, we think of the digital space, yeah. but you're talking about real things. You're talking about yep. death, you're talking about bereavement, you're yeah. talking about social injustices exactly. that we witness every day. So yeah. what I would ask is, how, do, um, how does one go about bring using digi the digital space to actually be a humanitarian and have real you know impact in the real world you know bringing um you know a social media to a place where it has social impact yeah, yeah. you know um the beauty of the digital space it gives us an, uh, a broader spectrum on how we we, we, we can handle things mm -hmm. and well, one of the ways that social media is actually reshaping conversations not only in emergency response but yeah. also in, in the humanitarian sector mm -hmm. um let's say for example um right now as a country there's a blood shortage yes there's a looming crisis as Crazy. in there's no blood yeah. But uh, as a country, we don't have that don don donating culture. Mm -hmm. So social media is actually now bringing those emotions, bringing that okay. human aspects where we link the, the patient who needs the blood mm -hmm. and telling guys, hey, so-and-so needs, like, let's say Michael needs blood. Mm -hmm. So we put it online and then people actually now share it. Mm -hmm. So being a digital humanitarian, when you see such posts, you not only just like, mm -hmm. but you share, okay. but also become part of it. Mm -hmm. So and social media has actually um, brought that emotional aspect mm -hmm. in, in, in actually doing a activism. Yeah. Okay, and I love that you brought the, out the fact that it's a calling yeah. and not really. So, I mean, how... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you know what I'm about to ask. I, I, so how do you live <laughs> off of this one, this, this um, choice, first of all, before we get into the practical... As the, okay, Digital Material yeah. is actually an organization. Okay. Uh, which okay. I... Um, okay, how I came about... By the name, I used to work for Kenya Red Cross. Uh -huh. I used to be the, the head of digital, and uh, being a Red Crosser, you get front row access to like nearly all, all the disasters. Mm. And uh, working for Red Cross gave me the, 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 you know, that third eye to see yeah. how the digital space can not only save lives, mm -hmm. can, can not only give hope to, to people who don't have the voice. Mm -hmm. So at Red Cross, I, I nearly witnessed all major disasters. All kinds, where yeah. You manage the Red Cross on digital, you can imagine mm -hmm. now verifying all these uh, road accidents, all these yeah. gunshots, all these tribal clashes, mm -hmm. and the West get more attack, the they terrorism. do see more attacks, mm -hmm. all the terrorists. You are there, you actually get to see how the digital not only uh, gives a lifeline. Mm -hmm. And um, there's one thing I really want to tell guys, it's being a digital maintainer is actually a calling. Okay. Most guys ignore posts online. Yeah. They, they see a post of maybe someone needs a medical appeal or someone mm -hmm. with blood or someone who's been raped. Right. As a society, we don't care mm -hmm. until it actually comes closer home. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's that's something that I would like to get us get to get into later on. But yeah. then, for now, I would like you to give us practical examples of as to how actually digital activism or humanitarianism can have real impact on you know, the real uh, life. Perhaps. You can even take examples from the international community or here because one of the things that we've been hearing about for months, let's take the Me Too movement, that I think was a form of um, activism that actually took root and we have now people in court yeah. and facing uh, the law because of some of the things that they did do to people and women in, in the United States. So how have you witnessed for yourself a, a real impact despite the fact that people sometimes are numb to this um, reality? First of all, uh, Digital Material actually gets funding okay. uh, where we actually do these interventions. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we have an organization who sort our fuel, who sort our logistics here and there. And right, uh, and right now, um, uh, we're actually pitching for, 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 for a global grant to set up um, an incubation hub. Right. Where we'll actually have a virtual, uh, what do you call it, like a virtual counseling uh, center where we we'll yes. actually have people calling in and, mm -hmm. uh, and respond to these issues. Yeah. So to answer your question, one is, um, uh, yes, the digital space has, has not only reshaped how we, we do activism, mm -hmm. we, are not, we are now a global entity. I think yeah. the things we do Kenya here actually mm -hmm. get global funding. Mm -hmm. And as we speak right now, I'm the UN Foundation plus social good uh, uh, change maker globally. Yeah. And that shows you how, as in Kenya is now being recognized on what we are doing, uh, I mean, no, not only here but globally. Mm -hmm. So as, uh, as a country, I'll give you various examples of how digital activism has, has actually changed. And and even like, I'll give an example of uh, the, the blood appeals. Okay. Right now, um, it's easy right now to actually mobilize for blood, mm -hmm. uh, where people see that uh, we, we went to the lab and actually told guys there's, there's, there's a shortage of blood. Mm -hmm. And then we tell you this is a patient who needs blood. So people mm -hmm. actually get to see what's on the ground. Mm -hmm. That's one. And then that, the other thing was that during the Westgate, I mean, the do sit. Uh, so when you do that, let's not yeah. shift too quickly. When you sh post these pictures, you get responses. I get responses. Yeah? yeah. And then are you able to connect the. You see, as, as Digital Material and First, we, mm. we have in our network, uh, we work closely with government, we yeah. work closely with the Ministry of Health, mm -hmm. the, the, the Kenya National Blood Bank, and I'm, I'm also part of a group, uh, these are humanitarian actors. Mm -hmm. It's called Dr. Kizishako Group, where it has lawyers, humanitarian, nurses. Okay. So when you get an issue, we actually escalate it to them. If it's right. an issue which needs uh, maybe therapy or a counselor, mm -hmm. there are counselors in the group. If it's right. an issue which needs policemen, there are police. Mm -hmm. And police actually really, really uh -huh. actually come in help. Uh, yeah. And uh, is this, are these services then free? Because sometimes these are, people who are... These are, these are actually pro bono. Uh -huh. in, in the group, we actually have, have policemen there. We have mm -hmm. people from, from DPP's office. We have okay. uh, doctors. We have lawyers. So if a case is escalated, we actually offer it for free. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So more practical examples of how this has worked in the country or even outside. Yeah. Um, the, the, the perfect example was do sit. Mm -hmm. as, uh, during the do sit mortal attack, uh, as digital material, we were on the ground. We actually volunteered to help the Red Cross and even the, the emergency respondents. Mm -hmm. We set up a digital command center mm -hmm. where we could easily triangulate the posts which have been posted online and then cluster them based on the people who have been trapped in, mm -hmm. in, the, in the hostage situation or the families who are outside or people just posting propaganda. Okay. So at do sit, we were able to cross verify some of these posts and share with mm -hmm. the police and, uh, and help calm the situation. Mm -hmm. And then we also managed to, to form a WhatsApp. Yeah. Where we also now give the people who were trapped inside on first aid alerts mm -hmm. and even guide them on safety on how they, how they can do. That's one of the ways where we actually ended up saving so many people and, uh, and guide them. Uh, another example is um, uh, a lot of uh, medical appeals which actually get online. Right. It's easy now to actually tell a story okay. where you get the emotional aspect, you explain someone going through. Uh, the, the, the medical hassles, mm -hmm. then you post the, and the, the fundraising. The audiovisual aspect yeah, of yeah. it, videos and what happened. Uh, and then the, the, the biggest one right now, which is actually working, is uh, mental health. Mental well, health, yes. Yeah, where where we, we get flood cases on Twitter, mm -hmm. people who want to commit suicide, or, yeah. or, or, or sorry, people want to attempt suicide, or, or people who are actually severely depressed. So you basically intervene. So we intervene mm -hmm. and provide interventions, mm -hmm. get them treatment care, and, and even guide them to the best therapy which, which they can actually get. Yeah, but yeah. we know the internet for it. it, it it's a vast you know, platform and so many uh, smaller platforms within it. And getting to these people, let's say I would love to be, I would want to have impact through social media. I could be shouting from my little corner of the, and, and not having impact. So how does one go about getting into this type of thing to the point that they have, they know how to connect people, they know how to figure out who needs help, when, where, and what, and they know how to bring to fore issues that are affecting areas that are far flung or remote, yeah. but then the yeah. internet is the only thing they have. How do they get to be loud, stand out um, in, the, in the crowd? Like, uh, the, that's a very good question. Um, right now, as Digital Manchurian, we're actually going to schools, mm. universities, and uh, even churches and local, I mean, these youth, uh, youth forums. We are yeah. training the youth to actually become more responsible online. Because you find as a country, it's sad to say that uh, we are actually a bullying nation. Yeah. And we thrive. We are bullies. This yeah. is very true. Uh, and we thrive on character assassination, but mm. we don't know the power we have. Mm. So we are, we are actually trying to, to tell youth that uh, if you see someone struggling online with uh, mental issues, don't uh, character assassinate them or anything. Just give them, uh, I mean, uh, point them towards to us. Mm -hmm. So very soon we'll be launching our website and the campaign and they're just on how guys can actually become digital materials. Mm. But back to your question, I think it, it's time we know the power we have. Yeah, at even times, as an individual, as an individual uh, anonymous as you may feel. Yes. And uh, at times uh, we blame the government for things, yet we can also 
um, become a powerhouse. Yeah. Let's say, for example, right now, we are all blaming the government because there's no, there's no blood. Mm. If today we say a million Kenyans stand up and say, hey, I'm, I'm all positive, yeah. why can I donate? Mm -hmm. It will now force them to actually make sure we have equipment. Mm. And, but now we have this wait and see kind of approach where yeah. I'm like, okay, it can't happen to me until... Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, for me, digital activity is actually now working. We are now discussing issues about cancer, mm. broadly HIV, people actually coming out and talking yeah. about it. So I find it more uh, an opportunity where people can actually... You, it's time we have mm -hmm. a bit of uh, understanding because I feel mm -hmm. we, we bully people a lot online. We do, yeah. And, and, and yeah, and, but then we'll, we'll get to that. I'm, I'm thinking in lines of I have a phone and I have an issue. I've seen this, um, these, let's say, pol I'll take the example of police brutality in my little village somewhere. Where do I start? Is there a hashtag? Is there a tag? How do I get to make enough noise to have impact? in my community you know, using um, just my phone and the platforms. One thing we don't know as yeah. in to use the power of the phone. Okay. We don't tell our stories. Uh. We don't tell our, uh, we only wait until when it thinks are bad. That's like the issue about injustices. Mm. Let's document these issues. All right. And then also, let's also, as much as we are documenting them, let's mm -hmm. also uh, consider what not to share online. Okay. Sometimes I find this issue of uh, like now the, those, uh, those mothers yeah. I think let, let, let's avoid sharing the, the bodies. Mm. There, there's a way I can share your story mm. without using your graphic image. Yes. So I think as much as we're telling those stories. And sometimes people resort to that because they they are desperate to be heard. You understand? So yeah. I the, agree. The, yeah. I so agree. The, 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 actually that feeds into my question because I think there are tactics that you can use on yes, social media yes, yes, that yes, will yes. make you be heard without being too crass or gory or you know. Just, just tell your story. I'll, putting I'll give, people off. I'll give an example. Bloody, yeah. of, there's a lady who was talking about her dad who was uh, who was murdered. Uh, she just gave the story without using any images and, yes. and, and uh, at times it's just let's tell our own stories. Yeah. Let's just be emotional. Let's just mm -hmm. throw it out there. And uh, uh, if there are people who reach out to me in, in inbox mm -hmm. who, who can't do it publicly, okay. like uh, people with the hashtag, uh, uh, it could be you or mm -hmm. a digital humanitarian, mm -hmm. uh, and we, we can't really, I, I mean, I reached out. Mm -hmm. So if you have a phone and you're going through issues, I think uh, it's time now. If you cannot go publicly, yeah. the people actually, you can't reach out to. You can't reach out yeah. to. So you need to be keen and keep an eye out for that. And yeah. those hashtags, yeah. for example, the Kazi Iko. Iko Kazi KE, Iko Damu KE. And right now for mental health, we're actually having it could be you. It could be you, yes. Yeah, so the, so, so that, those are actually which people actually need to be looking out to. Right. But then because we have been, and Kenyans are one of the uh, community, <coughs> Kenya is one has one of the communities that are very digi uh, digital savvy, savvy. tech savvy. Yeah. We are on it, we are out there all the time and that means a lot of people are actually engaged in that type of, in this type of activities. Yeah. But the downside to that is that after a while, you, th those, those pictures stop being shocking. They stop bringing you into action. You become sort of numb because every other day there's an outrage, an outrage. So some people have what we call uh, outrage fatigue, you know? It's, uh, you, you, you stop uh, feeling the need I, uh, to yeah. respond or be a part of that conversation. I, I feel that uh, as a country, we've mm -hmm. not tapped into our power fully. How? Uh, Kenya, is, Kenya is quite, uh, in terms of the mobile app tech, the social media use, we are a powerhouse globally. Mm -hmm. uh, in this, we are actually known to actually talk about issues. Yes. But when it comes to activism, we tend to kind, kind of cage and, and not go outright. Yeah. Or when you go outright, we, you're going it on the negative side. Mm. We always look at the, the negative bit, but if we look at it more holistically and when let everyone come out and say, hey, can we, can, can we discuss about this today? Okay. So it doesn't have to be anger. And, it's and to be anger. It's about talking about issues soberly. Mm -hmm. At times we, we can discuss. I think uh, it's time now we even hold our leaders accountable. Because mm -hmm. at times we look, we, we look at some of these issues, we also have a role to play. Yeah. We don't document these things. Like uh, if it's a project which is funded, we do we even follow up to, to see what has yes. been done on the ground. Mm -hmm. So I think even, even us, we have, uh, there's this power there's we have whole, yeah. where we can mm -hmm. stand and speak mm -hmm. in one voice and say, yes. we demand this service. And in line to that also, yeah. there's a comfort that you get from making a comment and then forgetting about it. Yes. You know, yes. How can we overcome this? Because a lot of the times that we have these problems, we say, oh yeah, I, I agree. And then also my example, this, this and that, and then it ends there. So there's a satisfaction that comes from being a part of the conversation, but unfortunately, you're not taking the extra step to even tag someone. I'll give you an example. You know, spread, you I'll know? give an example. Um, at times, we get blood appeals. Like in a day, we get about 17 or, or 20. Yes. So when we when you do tweets, mm -hmm. probably we get 
uh, 1,000 retweets, yes. 500 retweets, mm, but comments. how many guys go offline? Actually, yeah. So that's now, the, connecting that digital activism to now the real offline. To social impact. So that's how now do the we way. do that? I think it's time now, people now stop being comfortable. I think we are too mm. comfortable. People only react to activism when it's close to them. To, yeah. Because I feel like, ah, why should I donate that for you? I'm mm, like, mm. Or, or why should you? So that people yeah. can see and hope that they will. And if you don't challenge the, the viewers, how many of us know our blood groups? Mm -hmm. How many of us have actually gone to donate? Right. And you see, like, in a country, we our blood deficit for a whole year is like about half a million. Mm -hmm. But how many are we? Yeah. How many, have, how, how many actually got donated? Yeah. How I many, was reading an article that yeah. says we are 47 million in this country. Yeah. If only 1% would Indeed. donate, donate, would have at least 470,000 pints. If yeah. today there was a major disaster in the country, mm -hmm. we are doomed. Yeah. And see the, mm -hmm. see, the thing is, we all have this wait and see approach. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time we have this Undugu culture where we, we take care of our own. Yeah. We, we, we don't have to wait for a disaster for us to react. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I, don't, I don't have to have cancer for you now to start talking about. Mm -hmm. You see, right now, we, people are talking, discussing about cancer. We don't do respect mm -hmm. after we, when you lost big leaders. I mean, uh, Yeah, and unfortunately, that conversation also died it because dies. we're not talking about it so, anymore. So that's what I'm saying. This, yeah. uh, as a country, we need to now have this sober conversation mm -hmm. and, and let this, not this conversation just die offline. Mm -hmm. And as digital man trainer, we're looking at now starting to document these stories and yeah. keep reminding guys. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a campaign we are planning where we're going to involve all the emergency responders mm -hmm. and we'll keep reminding people that yeah. it could be you one day in an yes, accident. It absolutely. could be you having cancer. It could be you having... Absolutely. Yeah. So that would actually help people shift and actually keep the conversations going. But then the fatigue, though, I don't know what can be done about that. Um, the fatigue comes in because uh, people share a lot of uh, graphic and, uh, you know, um, if, if you're sick, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't think most people know the dangers of sharing private information and you know? there's, there's dignity and there's, 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 there's confidentiality. Yeah. We and sometimes even children. Yes. But then the, yeah, back to that point of where you were tr really just trying to shock people. I'll give an action. example of the lady in Australia who yeah. shared a video of her son who was being bullied uh, yes, online. Yes. That video went in. viral because right. that emotional mm -hmm. punch came out. Mm -hmm. I think in our stories we don't have that emotional. We, we don't tug, bring out. Yeah. We tend to cage. Mm -hmm. So it's time we count. Like today if I stand up and say, hey guys, your post gave me a trigger. Uh -huh. Your post gave, you know, gave me this. Mm -hmm. Or you bullied me. Yeah. I think it's time now we start, we stand up and getting these stories, getting mm -hmm. these stories out there. Mm -hmm. outside there. I think it's, 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 it's not only going to uh, destigmatize some of these issues mm -hmm. and, and make it more... Because um, people only discuss about cancer when maybe a, a politician has died or a, or a big person, then we all forget. Yeah. But if you get all Kenyans coming out and say, hey, my mom has cancer, I mm -hmm. have cancer, it will mm -hmm. now make this conversation normal. Yeah. Yeah. And tell the story of how it has impacted yes. not yeah. just you, yeah. your, your, your and relative. Even look, look at the, 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 the positive aspects. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. And so let's shift gears to the issue that you brought up. The kid who was bullied, yeah. he literally, a very terrible video that forced the, the, the world to actually pay attention to bullying. But bullying has moved because of that space that has been created by the internet from the real world into the online space and we are all emboldened most of us not all are emboldened by the fact that we are <laughs> anonymous because you're not facing this person head on then you have the courage to say whatever you think you have a right to say but then there are a lot of this mental health issue that you're talking about some of these issues are coming out off of these platforms exactly so how do we shift our approach to the internet that we're using it for good and not just going uh, wild with our how to challenge you? Conjecture. How do you use the internet? Mm. Do you use it to give information or get information? Mm -hmm. We Both? give too much information. We give too much? Too much information. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then this information is now used against us. Uh -huh. You'll find most people open up their bedrooms. Their yes. marital issues, they put it out in public. Mm -hmm. When they have an issue, it's, it's well, out there. One would uh, make a case for self-expression. No, uh, there's, there's a limit on what you can put. Right. There has to be a balance on what you share mm -hmm. and what not to share. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, if you, I'll give an example of parents. Mm -hmm. Parents give too much information from birth, the yeah. pregnancy, mm -hmm. the, 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 the birthdays, the mm -hmm. school, the first day in school, mm -hmm. photos there, the name of the child, name, the school, the class, everything is online there. Yes. So you find that this information is actually too much there. Mm -hmm. So when uh, online you have trolls, uh, people who are sick, who yeah. will, will uh, use that information to actually now mm -hmm. start bullying. But then I would make the argument, just for argument's sake, that we want to have a society that does, does not force you to um, uh, limit yourself to a little cocoon, but make it safe enough for people to be able to express themselves, put themselves out there without fear of it's, it's, these cycles. Yeah, it's, it's safe enough, but uh, they'll always be those people. As it is right they'll now. always be yeah. there. So it's us to know what not to share, what mm -hmm. not to share. Mm -hmm. And um, 
The issue, come back to, 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 to that kid. That kid, that story went viral because yeah. of the, the mom actually made an emotive Emotional. appeal. Because we, know, we normally yeah. don't see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like here in Kenya here right now, I have so many cases where parents have learned about the, the death of their sons or daughters online. Online, yeah. Or, or, or you just heard about your baby, hubby has died because people an take accident, your photo, yeah. an accident. Yeah. So it's, it's us to actually know that, that common sense must dictate. Mm -hmm. If there's an accident, avoid getting the number plates. Yeah. If, like uh, there's an issue where there's a, a guy who was seeing off his friend's wives and they're all crushed. Mm -hmm. So guys went online, took photos, shared number plates. At all. These guys are sponsor. We bought, mm -hmm. what, what. Oh, yeah. So you can imagine the wife is waiting for the hubby at home. And then, then this is her. stumbles on the photos online. Yeah. Then she was pregnant, she's miscarried. So we find, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We need to know the balance of what mm -hmm. we share. Think and of the, the other side. Mm -hmm. Is there yeah. a case to be made for seeing the online platforms as just the same way, the same, literally, it's just life, but on another, on, in a virtual. Uh, I can say one for one, social media is a big lie. Yeah. It's a total big lie, and people, people go to social media to validate things Themselves which they can get in life. Yeah. They, they want to get gratification from people they don't even know. Mm -hmm. So I think once we, I think people, a lot of people are suffering from low self-esteem. Yeah. So they get, get like today, if, if you take a photo fully dressed, you'll get probably 10 likes. <coughs> yeah. If you, mm -hmm. do, if you have a photo, probably a bit uh, provocative, provocative you know, you get. So that's the attention of the yeah. So there's no one who is now guiding people like, hey, mm -hmm. you can get gratification by, 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 just by having that one-on-one -on -one confirmation. Mm -hmm. And even as parents, uh, most parents are not present in their children's life. Mm -hmm. So these kids are getting gratification online, where yeah. you find, like, as digital materials, we've been to so many schools, mm -hmm. and you find students are telling us, oh, my parents, they're never present. Yeah. My mom gives me money. I have, I have so much money, but that parental love is not there. Not there. So she meets a boy off online who tells her, hey, Mm. You're beautiful. You're yeah. what? And at home, the parents are like, "Why when you jinga? Why when what?" So you find exactly. these kids. So we, we have this disconnect. Trying to fill the whole. Yeah. That is so I feel as a country, we must have this sober discussion yeah. and just look at the digital space as we, we must find ways where we get offline. Yeah, and I think it's a tool. You choose how to use it. If yes. the, if I have a machete here and I use it to clear a, a grassy area yeah. or use it to hit someone i mean the, the, it's just a tool so it's yeah, about and, how we and then it. also also it's time also stand up to bullies and just tell people this is wrong Enough. pull it down yeah. yeah i remember there was one um incident where i think um well she was bullied instead so <laughs> i mean there's a woman who came out and disparaged another person's look so yeah, to yeah. try and help this person who was being bullied Kenyans decided to bully her instead by showing pictures of her when she wasn't doing very well. Yeah, yeah. So I think sometimes our intentions are good, but then how they, we go they, about they, it. They'll always be that one yeah. person. Because now she's a victim too of bullying. So yeah. how, who have we, have we helped in this scenario? So that's what I'm saying. We need yeah. to have discussions soberly without mm. being biased. Because yeah. either way, we, do you always think of the other person when mm. you're doing something? I'll give an example of the Kakamega incident, yes. the, the school uh, that uh, stampede. How many people knew that uh, sharing those graphic photos, of, I mean, those photos of the dead, yeah. most parents learned about it online? Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, we actually flagged a couple of people, like, please pull this down. They were yeah. like, no, the world needs to know. I'm yeah, like, yeah, but the they're parents not are like that. Yeah. Yeah. So we flagged it. Some of them lost their, their Twitter accounts. Mm -hmm. Some of them lost their Facebook accounts. Because mm -hmm. it's time now, people need to know that Twitter, Facebook, Instagram have a report button. Yes, and I love that you've come to that uh, yeah. bit because I was going to ask you about checks and balances. Yeah. While it's really difficult to contain certain issues and while someone is trying to be a humanitarian or an activist they're going out in a very negative and very shocking way how then can we contain this while we cannot go into someone's account and delete it can the government be instrumental in helping we are pulling this down or we are um, checking how people are using the internet. What are some of the ways that we can ensure there are checks and balances in the digital space? I think for checks and balances, I think uh, the, the most, uh, I mean, uh, significant thing, which I, I may say, it's, uh, it's common sense. Common sense. We, we, we may have the cyber laws here and there, yeah. but if you don't have common sense, mm. it's, it's us to actually make that call. Yeah. Uh, and and uh, the, the, the police have been very, very supportive in, yes. uh, in our activism and at times when you see those, some of these posts, they actually step They can in. actually track this yes, person yes, down? Yes, yes. Uh, do we have the tools as we are they're to there. ensure that we they're can... They're there. There's no privacy. WhatsApp groups. There's no privacy. Facebook. Let me just tell you, there's no privacy. Yeah. Every, everything can be actually. Everything can you See, the social media gives us this false sense of anonymity oh, yeah. where we think that I can abuse the president, I can abuse the government, I can, I can assassinate you. Mm -hmm. People can be found. Yeah. So there's no privacy. So people need to know that what, what you post will come and haunt mm -hmm. you. There's something called a digital footprint. Yes. 
those that you can nowadays people screenshot fast before yeah. they read. Absolutely, yeah. and you know it's important for people to also know that you can report. You can report, especially this uh, when, the, when an image is graphic. Uh, this for photos of dead people, mm -hmm. even even bullying. Yeah. If someone cuts you, you can mm -hmm. actually report and they lose the account. Yes, and so. you're reporting. You can report on social media. On accounts, social media. But also in real life. In real you life. Can get justice. Like for like I, I keep telling people that uh, social media is not a, is not the law. Yeah. You have to go report. Like mm -hmm. most people will come to Twitter and print, mm -hmm. yet they have not reported the police. Uh huh. There's a, there's a, there's a cyber crime unit. Mm -hmm. Go and report have the OB number, then now follow up the Absolutely. case. Absolutely. And what if you're going to a local police station, they, they have this attitude of what do you mean? You want this here because perhaps they're in that headspace where... You, you know, once you report, you have the OB number. Mm -hmm. It's always easy now to actually make a, a justified call and say, mm -hmm. hey, I, I did report, yes. but I never got... So most of, most of us just jump online. We make mm -hmm. noise, but we've not reported. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you can do something about it. Yeah. And just as we conclude, your last comment on digital humanitarianism, as we conclude the conversation. I just feel like um, as a country, we, we need to just have a conversation with ourselves and just think uh, for once, am I using the digital space to bully mm -hmm. others? Am I, giving, am I using the digital space to actually give, it, give people more life? Mm -hmm. We don't tell our stories. Yeah. We, do, we don't tell... As in, we've, we've become so insensitive to issues which are actually happening to us every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, we make fun of things, like let's say someone is fat, someone is ugly, someone is what. It may be your kid, man. Yeah. It, it can be your sister. Or you. And, and uh, right now, there's so much uh, self-esteem from bullying, people being bullied. People mm. don't want to go public. People mm. don't want to. Mm. They don't tell you one thing. Just be you. Don't yeah. think about what people say. Don't get right. validation online. Mm -hmm. And uh, being a digital humanitarian, everyone can become a digital humanitarian. Mm -hmm. You don't need to, to do it for someone. Yeah. Even just one retweet can actually mm -hmm. help save a, save a life. Absolutely. Yeah. And sometimes you need to turn it off because uh, yeah, there's an, a, a quote by actor Jim Carrey who said that sometimes before you self-diagnose yourself with depression or self-esteem, sometimes you need to assess the people. Around the you. voices around you, yeah, that around might you. be yeah. the problem. So thank you so much, Philip, so much, for your, uh, being a part of this conversation. And I think that brings, draws us to closer to the end of the, con of, of the bulletin. But before we end things, we have more for you right here on Morning Express. So let's take a short break and we'll come back with more for you.